Hi guys, this is me, Rusty78609 at a BLM campground north of Socorro off of County Road B90. A little hard to find, but it's worth it because there's not a soul here. But anyway, I want to do two things. I want to show you my camper setup now. And again, this is Rusty78609. This is May the 22nd. It's about 1.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, temperature 75 degrees, wind out of the, uh, if there is any breeze, it's probably out of the west. So anyway, having said that, let me show you what we got. Of course, outside on the ground, I've got my water, my ice chest, my steps, and my pickup levelers. Those yellow things can, are levelers for the pickup. And there is a uh, sleeping bag with my sunglasses on it. And there's my knee pad for getting in and out. And notice this work of art here, folks. I bought that today at Walmart for $15. That is a twin size comforter. So what I'm gonna do now is, on the cool nights, I'll just use that. And then if it really gets cold, we'll go to step two, the ice chest. So, but anyway, inside's getting more organized. I mean, you may not think so, but I notice it. Uh, I've got my laptop on my little table, and I've got my water there, and uh, there's my wine underneath, and on the side there is the organizer for all my little stuff. Got some clothes hanging there. Uh, there's the pee jug, one gallon. Uh, there's the poo-poo bucket with a lot of stuff in it that just lifts out in that bag, and that little gold thing right up there is a compass, and those little things right there there's one on each side and that's for locking the RV or the camper top from the inside so having said that now that you know what the inside of my home looks like let me show you my, my front and backyard okay so here we go this is facing south that's towards Socorro and uh, let's see what we can do here we'll zoom in a little bit help you out a little bit but anyway we're zooming around that's facing east coming on around. You can see I got a lot of neighbors. Interstate 25 is about a mile away. You may see some cars moving there, but you can't hardly hear them here, and that's why I stopped here. I just wanted to be far enough away from I-25 so I didn't could just barely hear the cars, and that's fine. Uh, anyway, we're going on around. As you can see, there's nobody here, nobody here, nobody. There's plenty of places to camp. It's dispersed camping. You just find you a spot and help yourself. It's a freebie, and I'll be here maybe until I run out of light, ice and water, depending on whatever whatever hits me. I mean, I may go now. Who knows? But right now, it's good. I mean, I like it. Had a little difficulty finding it, but uh, here we are in, I don't know, this may be still central uh, New Mexico. You got some mountains around, beautiful scenery, peaceful. Uh, got a little cloud cover today, which makes it nice. I haven't seen clouds in a while. I've uh, got some little, that's Virga, that, that, those clouds up here. It, it looks like it may be raining, but that's what they call Virga. And what that is, the air is so dry that it is raining at that elevation, but the rain doesn't reach the ground. It, it, it evaporates. So having said that, we'll turn around here and let you see the Casablanca. And uh, I also want to give you a notice that I canceled the 13 foot scamp order today. They're issuing a full refund, which will be in my account in about five days. I talked with Nick, the salesman. I have to tell you, if you buy a scamp of any size, buy it from Nick. He's a great guy. Uh, he's very friendly and he's very knowledgeable of the product, but he doesn't kid you. You know, I mean, he tells you what will happen and what won't happen, and that's the way it ought to be. But anyway, why did I cancel the scamp? I know I get a lot of feedback on this, and that's fine. I can deal with it. But anyway, the camper top is, is everything I need. I've been on the road for eight days, and, uh, you know, uh, it's fine. I mean, I, I, I in the Prius, after this many days, I was really thinking about going back home because the Prius kind of wears you out, whereas this has enough comfort and, quote, convenience for me to satisfy my camping niche, and I also contacted the water department in my home base area and let them know to put my water on vacation for a few months and also I contacted the Wi-Fi people and told them to put that on vacation for a few months because I may be gone for a few months now then again I may not you know you, you know old Rusty he's kind of a fickle beast uh, you know once I get in my head to do something I'll do it till I get tired of it and then that's the end of that crap 
So, but be that as it may, I'll show you. Now, another thing, of course, all you campers need to know, and I've said it before in videos, is whenever you find your campsite, two things are very helpful. One is to know which direction is west, and that's west, this way right here. The sun's gonna set right in that area. So I've got my pickup broadside to the sunlight with the reflectix on the west side, and that way, as the sun sets in the evening, uh, it won't be toasting the inside of the truck. But right now, the inside of the truck's about uh, 78 to 80 uh, degrees, and uh, it's very, it's nice. But of course, the reason it's nice, in, in some places, if the humidity was above 40 or 50 percent, you'd be miserable. But here, because the humidity is probably in the single digits, uh, you, you feel cool. You know, it's like, you know, whenever you stand in the shade in the desert, you just, it's amazing how quickly you, you feel the coolness. But so far, so good. I went by Walmart and Socorro and got some supplies. So I've got plenty of water, plenty of ice, plenty of food, plenty of beer, plenty of everything. And I just want, here's a, see that, you may not be able to see it. I'll see if I can zoom a little further. There's a dust devil there. You see that? Right. Maybe you can't, it may not be well defined, but it's right in this area. There's a, I, we used to call them whirlwinds, but people out here call them dust devils. And it's just a little, it's a little mini tornado that sucks up the dust. In dry, in dry desert areas. You see them all the time in the desert. But so far, so good. I had, again, I had a hard time finding this place, but it's been worth it. There's some telephone poles here in case I need to make a telephone call. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, anyway, let's see, isn't that wonderful? I mean, that is just a work of art, guys. I mean, I have to tell you, let me zoom out a little bit. No, that, that, that's, I mean, is that cozy or what? I mean, that's everything. I'm, I'm totally self-contained right there, totally, totally. I mean, I've got a restroom, I've got water, I've got a pee jug. I mean, I got everything. I mean, <laughs> you know, and it's economical is what I like. I'm averaging a little over 25. There goes the wind. Shaky Jake's going to be making noise. But anyway, I'm averaging a little over 25 miles a gallon, which is good. The wind's completely changed direction because of the clouds. Now the wind's picking up that little dark clouds coming by. I know I'm a great videographer, so... But anyway, having said that, guys, the adventure continues, and I'm still in New Mexico. Probably be here for another, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to say. I'll just be here until I'm, until I'm not. <laughs> so, anyway, from Central New Mexico, BLM Campground, this is Rusty78609, saying adios, goodbye. Bye, goodbye. Adios, goodbye. Buy USA whenever you can. Drink plenty of water. Two or three quarts a day will not hurt you. You may TT like a racehorse or a two or three pecker possum, but you'll feel a hell of a lot better. Also take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth several times a day. Why? Because it relieves stress and relieving stress, lowers your blood pressure, and your heart doesn't have to work so hard. I know there's wind in the mic now. I know, I know it, I know it, I know it. And I'm trying to turn in a direction where it'll stop, but it just seems like I'm not having much luck. But anyway, take the deep breath, stretch, walk, keep your health because the adventure continues. I'll see if I can zoom out here a little bit. Now, there's some mountains. There's the no-name mountains. Everywhere I go, there's no-name mountains. There's some more no-namers over here. Right up in there. I'm not sure what those are. It doesn't matter to me. It, they, they're just mountains. That's all I know. So anyway, guys, enjoy your day. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.